Dear learner, welcome in my lecture of web technology. Today I will discuss about the topic JSP, JSP exception handling. I am Dr. Ashutosh Bhatt, Associate Professor, School of Computer Science and IIT, Uttarakhand Open University, Haldwani. The main objective of this lecture is to understand and implement error handling in JSP. Also, the learner will perform the exception handling in JSP. In the previous lecture, we have discussed about JSP implicit objects. So first of all, what is exception handling? Exception handling is a process to handle runtime errors. So you know runtime errors. Many times we write a code in Java or in JSP, but the code is completely correct. But when we are running the code, it automatically give the errors so this is exception handling. So there may occur exception any time in your web application. So uh, you have to remember and you have to aware about the exception handling. In JSP, there are two ways to perform exception handling. So one is error page and is error page attribute. And the second one is error page within a tag. It is part of web XML. So in this lecture, we will discuss about error page and is error page. The example of this error page and is error page will be discussed in this lecture. So again, I am explaining exception handling. Like this car is running. Car is completely perfect and car, there is no problem in car. It is running properly, but suddenly what happened, the fuel tank get empty so in that case it will be stopped so this is a kind of exception here. and as we we will refuel the car by the petrol or diesel so again it will start so it will uh, it is called handling exception so by refueling the oil it will start again so we will call it exception handling so when the code is perfectly correct there is no error in the code while the developer will develop the code but when we will run that code so many errors will may occur at that runtime so these runtime errors are called exception and when we will handle these exception so called it is called exception handling so uh, this is exception handling in exception handling in JSP is the same as the exception handling in Java where we manage exception using try catch block. So try and catch block is important syntax. So this is used for handling the exception. Unlike Java, there are exception in JSP also when there is no error in the code uh, at the time of development, if there is no code in the there is no error in the code but while in case of running any error or exception occurs so this is called exception so this is exception and uh, handling this exception we will call exception handling and in JSP we have three kind of exception checked exception runtime exception and errors also so these three category so first of all we will discuss about checked exception so this checked exception it is normally a user error or problem means uh, the problem which is occurred by the user it is not at the end of developer which is are not seen by the developer are termed at the checked exception means developer is developing the code and that time he has developed the code perfectly no errors at that time but when the user will run that code so then maybe some errors maybe some exception will generate so uh, this type of checked exception the example of this checked exception are file not found exception io exception or sql exception so first of all this is file not found exception the code is running perfectly but the file is not not prepared or not kept in a proper directory so uh, when it will access that file the code will access that file 
and uh, file is not there so file not found exception will generate so where it tries to find the file uh, when the file is not found in the disk or in that particular path also and same uh, way we have the second uh, checked exception that is io exception if there is any exception occurred during reading or writing of file then io exception is raised so uh, this is io exception so uh, we are uh, uh, the user is giving uh, wrong input and wrong uh, he, he is trying to uh, output the wrong value so that time this io exception will generate and third one is the sql exception exception like these three exception there may be many checked exception so commonly uh, used exceptions are these three so sql exception when the file is connected with the sql database uh, and there is issue with the connectivity of the sql database then sql exception is raised maybe uh, this uh, file is not uh, this the program is not getting that file so uh, there is um, there may be connectivity issue so uh, this is the error on the side of user so this type of errors are called checked exception so these three are the checked exception uh, these three are the category of checked exception second one is the runtime exception runtime exception the difference between runtime and checked exception uh, in case of checked exception uh, uh, these are not seen by the developer at the time of uh, development of the program while uh, this second runtime exception which could have avoided by the programmer so uh, programmer can avoid these runtime exception while developing the code he, if he uh, while developing the code if developer carefully develop the code this type of exception can be uh, avoided so they are ignored at the time of the compile compilation also so uh, array out of bound exception arithmetic exception null pointer exception so these uh, this type of exception are called runtime exception so uh, these exception can also be avoided like array out of bound exception so if user may uh, arrange some uh, code that that code validate that which value we are storing uh, at which place so if we have the array of size some limit so uh, it can be avoided that out of the limit we cannot uh, store that value so we can stop the storing value out of the limit of that array so this can be happen this can be uh, this arrangement can be um, uh, possible on the end of developer so this is called array out of bound like arithmetic second one is the arithmetic exception where divide by zero uh, exception is there so uh, we can also validate the code uh, where the second value by uh, which we are dividing a first value so uh we can make a validation uh, the developer can make a validation that the value is less than 0 or equals to 0 then it will it it will give the some message so so that the user can change the value and uh, will not type will not give input as 0 so this is uh, arithmetic exception so this can also be avoided by the developer so uh, third one is the null pointer exception which is raised when a variable or an app object is null and when we try to access the same uh, value variable or object uh, is a null but we are trying to access that that one so uh, because it is null so how we can access it so this is null pointer exception so this is th second category of exception so uh, this is a diagram where exception handling is uh, explained here uh, like this 180 is divided by 0 here so if uh, if we are dividing any number by 0 so it means uh, automatically exception will generate uh, while the program program is correct x, x divided by y so it is correct but value of y if value of y is 0 then 
it will generate the exception so this is kind of uh, arithmetic exception now the third category that is error basically this we have given here three category the first one is the checked exception second one is the runtime exception third one is the error so checked exception and runtime exception both are explained by me but uh, error now error so uh, basically this error is not a exception uh, these are not exception at all but problems that arise beyond the control of the user or programmer so for example stack overflow occurs uh, like we are storing the value but uh, by default it is stored on the stack uh, you already know the use of stack so the value out of bound from this uh, st stack uh, overflow uh, overflowing this stack they are ignored at the time of compilation also so this is uh, called the error now one program uh, i have mentioned here so in this program i am explaining how this error handling is uh, performed in jsp so see this program html body and inside body we have a form and form action next dot jsp when this uh, form uh, when we will click on the submit button of this form uh, you can see in the third line inside this form that is uh, input type equals to submit as we will click on the submit button it will move to the next.jsp it will start running to this next.jsp so inside this form we have first number and second number we have two input box input type tags input type tags you can see here in this slide and their name is name one number one and number two so uh, the blank two blank text box will be will appear uh, when we execute this index.jsp so uh, you can see the window this this window the first window of uh, this slide uh, first half of this slide it is showing number one and number two where we are typing two numbers 12 and 2 uh, so we are inputting two values in two text box so here you can see here two text box input type text name number one and name number two so the, their name is number one and number two are their variable name and first number and second number are uh, two labels and their text box also so as we will submit it so uh, it will move to the next.jsp and the name of this file is index.jsp uh, the first file always we will be uh, running as a index.jsp uh, the by default file default home home file home page of the any web page is a index.jsp uh, or index.html now see uh, this uh, slide here we are accessing this is client program this one is the client window where we are we are taking two numbers we are inputting two numbers num first number and second number and pressing the submit button so as we will press on submit button next.jsp will uh, run and this is next.jsp and here these two value text box one value and text box two value both value will be will be imported here so uh, see uh, html body and division of number one and number two so here percentage equal sign integer dot parse int request dot get parameter number one so here this is number one name number one name number two for first text box we have number one and for second text box variable we have number two so number one integer dot parse int request dot get parameter number one so we are inputting here getting parameter of number one request dot get parameter number one and by parse int we will be we, we are converting it to integer and uh, integer dot parse int divided by integer dot parse int request dot get parameter number two so these two value we are input inputting here so number one and number two number one is 12 and number two is uh, number two is two so this is uh, two number so uh, this is the second program this is next.jsp but uh, we have mentioned here um, in the top line we have mentioned here percentage uh, at the rate page 
error page equals to error dot jsp suppose uh, we are inputting the value of number 2 is 0 see here here we have input uh, value of number 1 is 12 and input value of number 2 is 0 so in that case in that case as we will press the value of number 2 as 0 so it will be divided number 1 is divided by number 2 so number 1 is uh, 12 and num uh, divided by number 2 number 2 is 0 so 12 divided by 0 it means it the answer will be infinite so infinite is not defined in computer so in that case exception will generate and uh, we have mentioned in top line that is uh, page error page equals to error dot jsp so exception will generate and this page error page will redirect it, it to the error dot jsp means we will move to the error dot jsp file it will start executing the error dot jsp file in the first one we are as we will submit the uh, file it will start running next dot jsp and in next dot jsp if error will occur then it will run error dot jsp file so page error page will be written in the top line now now this is also example as is error page uh, you can see here is error page error dot jsp so it will move to the next file that is error dot jsp and in error dot jsp the first line is percentage at the rate page is error page so here we are asking that is error page kya ye error page hai so if it is true if it is true then we will move inside this uh, file and here html body and inside body we have mentioned several statement so uh, this this is uh, the again this is the program percentage at the rate page is error page is error page true so this is error dot jsp here uh, is error page will uh, it will be uh, indicating the exception that exception is already generated so it means we have moved to this is error page it is true then uh, we will come down and html body inside html body we have request is under process and uh, in italic and heading to the exception the name of exception will be displayed here so you can see here this is the name of exception sorry and exception occur if divided by zero if number two is zero then it will display this message sorry and exception is occurred and the, the detail of that exception will be in the next line so this is the complete program uh, this is the complete program of exception handling and here this arrow is indicating that uh, this error.jsp file so uh, as the error will occur so we will move to the error.jsp and in error.jsp the particular exception uh, percentage equals to exception will display the particular type of exception which exception is generated or uh, it will display that exception so so here you can see the exception uh, name of exception arithmetic exception is showing in second line uh, in output window so this is another snapshot here also we have um, given here number 1 is 130 and number 2 is 0 as we will click on uh, this button so it will display uh, this exception exception called the exception is java lang arithmetic exception by 0 format ok so this is the complete program so thank you learner after listening this lecture learner will fully understand error handling and the exception handling in jsp in next lecture we will discuss about practical example of error handling in jsp and exception handling in jsp thank you learner thank you very much